Well, howdy, folks. Uh, today we're going to do a little, little something different, a little different video. Um, after driving through Dallas and the ice storm and all that crap, and I haven't had a way of communicating with other folks on the road for about a year now, it's kind of driving me nuts. I got myself a little present and uh, got her all hooked up. I'm going to walk you through how to set it up a little bit, kind of what things mean and uh, kind of the right way to do it or right-ish way to do it. I'll show you how I did it anyway. Anyway, this is a Cobra 29 LTD Classic. I've used these CBs for most of my driving career in the last, I don't know, five, six years, however long I've been doing it. And this is a good solid radio pretty cheap for what it is does a good job it'll reach out a good five miles usually uh depending on if the other guy's got a good radio or not i uh, get along with it pretty good this was like 130 bucks and i looked on the internet and couldn't find a, a deal better than that and so i just ended up getting one at a love's truck stop but anyway um show you i wired it in kind of got mounted on the dash you want somewhere easy you know within arm's reach because you're going to be adjusting it now and then uh, going by gas stations they get a little uh, static going on and get tired of listening to people or whatever you just kind of want it close to you but not up in your face kind of deal um, it's got just two wires and an antenna super simple to hook up it's got hot in the ground not hard at all to figure out um but i would recommend wiring it into somewhere in your truck it's easy to do on this truck um somewhere that's hooked to the key uh, to where when you turn the key on it comes on and when you turn the key off it goes off that way it's not there's no way it could drain your battery that way um, i just ran mine down here hook the hot there and then the ground up there to uh, existing ground and it worked just fine just uh this hole was already drilled so i just run the there's probably four cb at some point it used to have one mounted up there but that's that's not very solid so we, i put it down here um, so i run the wires down through the dash and uh, this truck's real easy you just pop that off pop this off and uh ran them down there and then my antenna this isn't the best way to do it but it was easily accessible and uh, I just run it out the window and I uh, already had a mount on that mirror bracket so that's what we did I got I think it's a fire stick pretty good antenna but most any of them will do I've had this antenna and antenna wire for years uh, just sitting in the shop so I used them oh there's actually if you look there's a crack in that rubber right there and it leaks a little air so maybe that wire will kind of shut off there anyway to the main point i got set up to where i can turn the key on it comes on now what do all these buttons mean um it's pretty obvious but uh for some of them you know this is your volume and turn all the way down it's off um, and then you got your squelch on there your dynamite rf gain those right there you're going to use most of the time uh, those three and this one and this one not you're not going to mess with it but one or two times um, so what you'll do you want this set on your your srf and then this on your nb analog and that on your CB, I don't know what PA does. I, I don't know. This is your bright and dim for your lights. And this will switch you down to number nine or just, you know, any channel you want. Truckers run on 19 almost always. Um, some areas got some different channels guys run on. You know, if you're talking to you and a buddy are talking, you know, you might switch it to a couple notches over just to, you know, you're not hogging up the radio for other people to talk so you got your volume and uh you want to turn that on it don't matter where but to calibrate it you're going to use this right here 
you know, flip it down to calibrate. And this is your SWR calibrate um, knob. So what you'll do, you take your mic and you'll key it up. And if you watch this, it'll go up there. So I'll try and do this with one hand, kind of tricky. But if you watch that dial, I'll turn this down and that gauge will go down as well. You want to set it to where it's just about right at the red there. And that's just right. Now if you're around a lot of people, switch that over to channel 9. That way you're not... not uh, oh, we got some static going on. That way you're not bugging anybody. But uh, out here it don't matter. There ain't nobody around. But that's, that's how you calibrate it. You just want it right there. Right there on the red. You can turn it up about right there. And that's just about perfect. Your delta tune, I think that's has to do with dual antennas. Don't run dual antennas. Just one's plenty fine. That way you ain't got to tune them. Now, your squelch is right here. Now what that does is when you turn it up that shortens the distance of how far away you're listening so if you turn it all the way up here you're not going to hear nobody but who's right beside you but if you turn it all the way down you get full range you hear everybody you can possibly hear now this rf gain is uh kind of how loud it is and how well it picks it up you want to crank that up about three quarters and just kind of play with it your squelch you don't want it all the way open you kind of close it up just a little bit and then uh, have your gain about right there. Your dynamite, that's kind of tricky to uh, get set right because you can't hear yourself talking. So you want to get you a good buddy or somebody that's willing to talk to you, ask them how you sound. You know, if you're, if you're quiet, if it's down here and you're quiet and they can't hardly hear you, crank it up a little bit. I usually sell in half or three quarters somewhere in there. That way they can for sure hear you. And if you're too loud or something, uh, somebody will tell you. Um, but you want to leave wanna leave that right there, that right there, just kind of like it is. And that will get you set up pretty decent. Now you'll find when you go by a gas station, I don't know what the heck it is about gas stations. But you'll go by them and they'll get real staticky. And then you get past them and they'll go away. So if you set this a little bit higher... When you hear that static, it'll go away. Uh, nobody's talking right now, so I can't really show you exactly how that works. But um, that's how you calibrate it. You just you just flip that down to calibrate. And then you key up your mic, and you want that right on the edge of the red. And that'll get you right where you want to be. Um, other than that, pretty simple. Um not much not much else to say you know my opinion on cbs is they can really they can really save you quite literally if there's an accident and you're in bad condition especially snow and ice and things like that if there's a wreck just over the hill um somebody can tell you you know you can check on the see how the bear situation is see if chicken coops open things like that um yeah and that's that's pretty much it this this radio come with this mic um, just your standard microphone it nothing special but it does work really well um, you can get all the fancy doodads and stuff on these and supposedly you can get them tuned up to where you can hear 20 miles away but realistically you're going to get three or four maybe five miles in good conditions um, the main thing is making sure your antenna is hooked up correctly and clean um i don't know how well mine's doing i was hearing some guys earlier but uh this needs to be grounded uh really well if it's not you're not going to get as good a signal um see this needs to ground this let's see if you can see here this nut needs to be grounded really well and then you got this little uh, nylon spacer and that needs to keep your antenna off of that um i had to shim this up with a couple washers so we'll see how well that connection does um, but other than that yeah pretty simple 
pretty simple deal can save the day or if you're traveling with a buddy or something you know you can chat back and forth and keep you awake if you're trucking all night i've done that many times hauling cows and it can really help you of course cell phones work too but uh not as handy but anyway that's what we did today just kind of cleaning up around here and uh getting ready for monday gonna haul some salt again so we'll catch you later